What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 expressions that can replace the commonly overused I don't know. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. So the first synonym of I don't know is also quite common and it's I'm not sure. One example inspired by the series The One on Netflix. Have you seen Ben at the party? I'm not sure. And now let's move on to our second expression. I have no idea or we can also say I don't have any idea. And now let's look at one example. Do you know why she went berserk? I have no idea or I don't have any idea. To go berserk means to get very angry and to lose it. Number three, I have no clue. Or the second option, I don't have a clue. Or we can also say I'm clueless. An example sentence, do you know why she stormed out of the office? I have no clue or I don't have a clue, or the third option, I'm clueless. To storm out means to leave a place in a way that shows that you're very angry. Number four, I haven't the faintest idea, or I haven't got the faintest idea, or we can replace the adjective faintest with foggiest. And now one example. Do you know why they broke up? I haven't the faintest idea. Or I haven't got the faintest idea. Or I haven't the foggiest idea. And to happen to know means to know by chance. Number five, one of my favorites, your guess is as good as mine. And it means, I don't know. Let's put it into an example sentence. Do you know when it won't be compulsory to wear a face mask indoors? Your guess is as good as mine. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. Please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits if you like this channel and make sure that your bell is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now we're going to look at five more synonyms for I don't know. Number six, I know next to nothing. Next to nothing means very little. An example sentence, do you know if you have to do a PCR test to go to Paris? I know next to nothing. Number seven, I don't know of hand, or we can also say, I can tell you of hand. Of hand means without looking for information or without time to consider something carefully. One example, how many countries belong to the United Nations? I don't know of hand. Number eight, it beats me. For example, do you know who directed the movie As Good As It Gets? It beats me. Two more to go, number nine, I don't know off the top of my head. Of the top of your head means to say something without thinking about it much before you speak, especially because you don't have enough time. It's a very useful expression for your speaking exam when you're asked a difficult or unusual question 
and you don't know what to say. So it's like the first thing that you think of. An example sentence. Do you know which song Elton John wrote for the funeral of Princess Diana in 1997? I don't know off the top of my head. And last but not least, I'm completely stumped. To be stumped means to be unable to answer a question or to solve a problem because it's too difficult. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, who invented the map? I'm completely stumped. Another example, this puzzle has got me stumped. And one more example, scientists are stumped by this virus. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson up to the very end. I have another video which is in line with this one and it's on nine synonyms for sure. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out right here. And guys, if you learned something new and enjoyed this short lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!